race for president tonight, the Biden-Trump rematch now fully underway. And fresh off his State of the Union address last night, President Biden today on the campaign trail, heading to his home state first, the must-win battleground of Pennsylvania. Tonight here, his answer when asked today, will he debate Donald Trump? And Vice President Harris tonight asked about so much attention on her, given the president's age and what she said to that. ABC's Mary Bruce tonight with the interview. Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. Tonight, fueled by what his campaign considers a home run State of the Union, President Biden heading straight for battleground Pennsylvania, his must win home state. Did you all see Joe last night? Biden's team confident the 81-year-old president showed he has the energy and vigor to fight for a second term. Our freedoms really are in the ballot this November. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans are trying to take away our freedoms. That's not an exaggeration. Well, guess what? We will not let him. We will not let him. In his speech, the president calling out Donald Trump for pressuring Republicans to kill a bipartisan border deal because Trump wants to run on immigration and didn't want Biden to have the political win. The toughest set of border security reforms we've ever seen. Oh, you don't think so? Oh, you don't like that bill, huh? That conservatives got together and said it was a good bill? I'll be darned. That's amazing. Biden urging Republicans to work with him. Look, folks, we have a simple choice. We can fight about fixing the border, or we can fix it. I'm ready to fix it. Send me the border bill now. The president also sounding a campaign rallying cry on abortion, directly addressing the Supreme Court justices seated right in front of him. Look, it's a decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court majority wrote the following. And with all due respect, justices. Women are not without electoral, electoral power. Uh, excuse me, electoral or political power. You're about to realize just how much you get right about that. Biden thanking his vice president, Kamala Harris, for leading that charge. Today, Harris hitting the campaign trail, too, heading to battleground Arizona. Earlier, I spoke with her and asked about Republicans being so focused on her. We've seen this argument over and over again from Republicans that the candidate they are really running against is you, that given the president's age, there is a chance that you may have to take over for him. What do you say to voters who are sold on the president but may not be sold on you about this potential possibility? Well, first of all, I think what we saw in President Joe Biden is somebody who's prepared to take on a second term and do it with passion and do it with vigor. If necessary, which will not be the case, I am ready. But the bottom line is our president is full of vigor and passion and perspective to take on another term. And I'm standing right with him. I also asked her whether the president would debate Trump. We'll get to that at some point and we'll deal with that. But <laughs> Late today, Biden himself asked if he'll debate his rival. It depends on his behavior. The president is now hitting the campaign trail hard, blitzing key states in the coming days, including Georgia tomorrow and Michigan and Wisconsin next week. The president looking to capitalize on this momentum as the general election gears up. David. Mary Bruce, who was right there with us last night for the State of the Union. Mary, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.